Hi, this is Sean Smith, and that makes this Sean Smith Photos, where I edit street photography and occasional travel photos in On One Photo Raw. So uh, today, I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to take this shot from uh, unedited to completely edited, and I want to use Brilliance AI and the AI Style Advisor together, and then any additional tweaks uh, that I think of as I go along to get it to a point that I'm happy with. Let's get to it. All right, so I took this shot uh, a couple weeks ago on November 5th, and you can see it's very noisy, ISO 6400. Uh, 1 15th of a second handheld. I'd already gotten my sunset shot and I was walking back to the ferry to go uh, back to the city and I saw this couple looking at the skyline and I just quickly snapped the shot. I, I really only took one frame so this is what I got. Turned out pretty good but if we zoom in you can see it is super super noisy and the lights are not really the sharpest, but we'll see what Brilliance AI does for the tone. And then I have also in my settings, if I go to edit preferences and Brilliance AI, I've set it to apply no noise AI if the ISO is higher than 3200. So with this shot, it should apply that. And let's head over to the Develop tab, turn on Brilliance AI, and wait. It'll do its thing. And it's rendering. Okay, so it immediately made it brighter. And even without zooming in, I can tell that no, no noise AI has been sharp, uh, applied. And we zoom in here. Yeah, that is nice and smooth. The noise has been elegantly removed. And let's take a look at noise and sharpening first. Because while I'm happy with the no noise uh, and the removing the noise, I kind of like to sharpen up the, the buildings a little bit. I think they look OK. But let's see what we can do when we go with uh, sorry, not, I meant to hit both. Uh, okay, so now we're doing with both. And it's doing its stuff down here. And let's zoom out. And I haven't made any edits except what Brilliance AI did. And let's take a look here. Come on, grab it. Yeah, I, yeah, I think that is a little bit sharper. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm going to reduce the micro sharpening a little bit. I don't know if that really made a difference, but I'm just going to apply that because overall I was pretty happy with how it looked. So uh, with Brilliance AI, it does no noise, but it doesn't do the tack sharp AI as well. You need to come in and manually add that if your shot requires it. Uh, and I think in this case, the shot did a little bit. And I zoom out and yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, it's a little brighter than I would like. So let's open up Brilliance AI and take a look at the regions that it's giving me. So none of them showed up here, so we could always I'm not sure why that popped up, but I can't click anymore, so we'll wait for that. All right, so that's rendered, and now I'm going to turn on architecture, man-made ground, people. Well, no, not man-made ground, natural ground, and uh, sky and water. And I'm going to apply. And by doing that, I now have four additional sliders here that I can use. And let's 
So the color amount has been disabled because in tone and color, I have um, as shot, if I change it to auto, that will allow Brilliance AI to do the color, adjust the color. And it's not really making a difference, so I'm just going to leave it as that. And let's just take a look at the tone amount. I can really up, oh, way too much. Yeah. Um, so with this shot, instead of going at 100, I'm going to pull back a little bit because I want a little bit of a darker shot. I'm going to go with that. And then let's see what happens with the architecture. Um, you know what? I'm going to pull the architecture all the way back because when I pull it all the way up here, I can see some haloing around the edges. It may not show up on the YouTube video, but I don't like it. So I'm going to, and it's even there a little bit at, at the default setting. So I'm just pull it all the way back. It's probably uh, natural ground. What happens here? That's not actually doing anything. So I'm going to, uh, actually, I'm going to leave that. Well, all right. So let's grab the natural ground. And I want to, you know what, I'll just put this as the default. And then people, I want to brighten them up a little bit. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, um, pulling up on that does brighten them up. And the sky. Yeah, I think right around 50 for the sky is good for me. And then the water. Okay, so I'm going to put the water back where it was. And I think like when I pulled the slider up on the water, it kind of got a little crunchy. So maybe there's some sharpening happening on there. I'm not sure. Uh, let's take a look at the tone and color tab now. And so it's increased the exposure. Uh, yeah, see the structure has gone up. I'm going to pull back on the structure a little bit. I want to soften this water if I can. Uh, so I'll do that in local tabs. All right, so Brilliant AI did a pretty good job. I'm happy with that. And what we what I want to do now is add effects. But instead of adding the effects individually, I'm going to start off with the AI style guide and see what it thinks that my style is. So you need to open up your presets. Uh, if your preset browser is closed, control and left arrow will open it up. And so I'm in a folder with my presets that I've created. And if I back out, oops, I went into favorites by accident. And again, okay, and then I look down here for AI Style Advisor, open that up, and then there's the On One Team and My Style. So I want to go into My Style, and it's coming in here and it's telling me that my style is black and white, which is typically true. Except for today, I'm in the mood for color, so I'm not sure what to do about this because I wanted to see color. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at what my style guide is going to give me for the different shots. Yeah, I kind of like this darker one. Let's see what's going on here. That's similar. Okay, so that's a little bit brighter. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm going to go with this first one. I'm going to turn that on. And now it's done its thing. I'm going to close the preset tab by hitting control and left arrow. 
and we'll go into the effects and we'll see what effects it gave us. It only gave us a black and white filter. <laughs> All right, uh, so if I turn this off, then I'm back at the color. Hmm. All right, uh, so in, in this case, I'm not really super happy with what um, AI Style Advisor has given me, but when you do this, every photo is a little bit different. It may or may not be the right things for you. And, you know, On1 2024 is still new, so it's still learning what I like. And I suspect that because most of my shots are black and white with the street photography I do, that it thinks I like black and white all the time. Pretty close. But in this case, because of the, the really nice uh, colors here with the deep blues and purples, I actually want to have this in color. Okay, so I'm going to turn off this one and I'm just going to continue the edit how I would normally edit. And let's, uh, oops, let's pull in a color enhancer and I'm going to hit the sky and nope, I'm going to turn off the, let's reset that. Uh, so the sky was a little bit too strong for me. So instead, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into purples and I'm going to add some search saturation I'm going to pull down the brightness. And I'm going to shift the hue a little bit towards blue. And I'm going to take this blue and I'm going to bump up the saturation a little bit, drop down the brightness, and I'm going to shift the hue a little bit more towards purple. There we go. Yeah, so I'm I'm liking that. I'm liking that. That looks that's looking really nice. And then I'm gonna maybe add in a little bit of dynamic contrast and probably natural. And I will mask this into the skyline only. And close that. Let's turn it on and off. It's a little bit too strong, so we'll pull back on the opacity. That is a little bit too soft, so let's try like 60. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. Um, so one thing I want to do here is the foreground is a little bit too bright. I, I want to de-emphasize the foreground and I'm going to do that by going back to locals and Brilliance AI, I have natural ground. It's already masked in and I'm just going to play around with what Brilliance AI did here. I'm going to pull the, the exposure on that down a little bit. I'll pull the midtones down. I'm going to deepen the shadows. So yeah, see it's already a little bit darker. And that's really what I want to do because you want to be able to see it, but I don't really want to make it the focus. And what is the people doing here? Let's open up the people. We'll brighten them up just a little bit, uh, up the midtones, highlights. All right, so I, I got a business call and now I lost track of what I was doing. Oh, wait, yeah. Um, so I wanted to brighten up these people a little bit. Actually, that's that's not too bad. I think that's actually reasonable. We'll, yeah, okay, let's do that. And then what I wanna do is I wanna kind of like smooth out the water a little bit, uh, maybe darken it. Uh, increase the, the reflections that coming in here. And one thing that I like to do use for that is the glow filter. So I'm going to open up the glow filter and I'm going to apply it to the water. We'll paint in and check the mask. Okay, so I'm just going to get the brush and I'm going to clean up the mask a little bit along here. Yeah, okay, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, we'll close the, the mask here. 
and I don't know that this will really smooth out the water. You really need a long exposure for that, but I, I want to soften it so that the, the ripples are not so strong. And darker, lighter, normal. Um, I kind of like that deep forest. Normal is nice too. Oh, actually, Radiance Glow. Okay, I'm going to choose Radiance Glow, turn it on and off. Yeah, you know what? I like this Radiance Glow. And I'm going to just pull back the opacity just a little bit. Now, it didn't really soften it, but I feel like it did a really nice job enhancing the reflections so that the color of the water more matches the sky. And then you got the buildings here. And there's one last thing I want to do. I want to get rid of this tree branch, which is really, really distracting. So let's uh, go to Nav. And we're going to zoom in 100%. And then we're going to go down here. And I'm going to pull back just a little bit. OK, so I've got these tree branches that I want to get rid of. And actually, what I'm going to do, yeah. OK, so uh, retouch. And then we're going to choose the perfect eraser. And I'm just going to draw along this branch like that and let it erase it. Gone. Okay, and then we'll draw along this branch like that. Gone, looking good. All right, so the reason I'm not just doing one big goop is because we've got these lines of color coming in like this. So I want on one to be more accurate with it, which is why I've chosen to do it in small little steps like like this. So it's not taking a, one big chunk and kind of replacing it. It's taking a bunch of smaller chunks. Okay, and let's back up like that. Let's go a little bit bigger here. Actually, what are the other tools that we could be using? Um, yeah, I like the perfect eraser. I find I find it's best for when I use it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go. Now that I'm at the bottom here, I'm gonna go with a little bit of a bigger blob, and we'll see what happens. I suspect it's not gonna be great, but I'm hoping. Save me a little bit of time. Yeah, see, it's kind of like messy. All right, so I'm going to undo that, Control Z. I'm going to undo that, Control Z. There we go. Um, actually, let's just remove a little bit more of this in pieces. And one more like that. All 
All right, so it's getting a little bit smudgy down here, but I'm not planning on printing this. I'm just going to be sharing it on uh, Vero and on the small phones that everybody's looking at. It's not really going to be as noticeable as it looks like on this big screen. So from here down to here, yeah, it's a lot less prominent, like this big branch. So I'm really happy with that. And this is a quick edit using Brilliant AI, and it slightly didn't really work out with uh, the AI Style Advisor, but you know, this is my workflow. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.